Reminiscent of Euro 96 and a crowd already in good voice. And memories of those hazy, crazy days of summer are further kindled by Glenn Hoddle's selection. Alan Shearer and Teddy Sheringham being paired for the first time since that championship. The backbone is also restored in the presence of David Seaman and Tony Adams now joining up with Paul Ince. And Rob Lee is rewarded for his performance in the friendly match against Mexico. Yes, it's almost a, a cautious selection, I suppose. Uh, I think it reflects the dangerous midfield players uh, in the Georgian lineup. But uh, Robert Lee, certainly Grand Lasso, David Beckham all have to get forward to make sure Sharon and Manchira are not too isolated in attack. The Georgian side offers two new fullbacks in Shekiladze and Chikradze and a defensive midfield player, Machiavelliani. They're now under new management. David Kipiani taking over from his colleague in that brilliant Dynamo Tbilisi side of the late 70s and early 80s, Alexander Shivadze. Their players are in the shop window and they've certainly got a better pitch to play on. Well, I think that restricted uh, the Georgian side perhaps even more than England, and so they'll relish, I think, the space and the surface here at Wembley. Eight, nine and ten, particularly good players, Gemma Rowley, Pets Bayer, and, of course, King Cladzi. And England must make sure they don't allow them space. And then Goa, always interested to the visiting goalkeepers, uh, so it's a, it'd be important for them that he does well. The officials are from France, the referee, Remy Arel. crowd looking for the feel-good factor, the currency goals, single would be enough, but the hope is for a rather more positive approach to Europe, qualifying Group 2 for the World Cup. A walking pace to start. And here's the player who's going to Newcastle, Kits Bayer. Beckham. Manchester United just about keeping it in, not the best of crosses, but it might have proved a dividend because of the miss kick. That's it. Two spins and a good ball. Spire. It's good running here, and Campbell has to get the challenge in and does, and just away from them sets it. An early test for Sol Campbell, who was the man who had to make the challenge against Gianfranco Zola and didn't quite. Once again forward and on the right side. And so going the long way around. And has spreads uh, it the company. Short and Robley. Five out for England. It's among them. They might have push and shove going on too. It's killed in. That's a good save by the goalkeeper. Really got a good fist to that. Really sharp angle that David Beckham got. Close to the goalkeeper, but the goalkeeper had two England players breathing down his neck. And he really did well to knock it off the head of Alan Shearer. Campbell to the center. Tucking in on the left side, hitting an extremely good ball to Shearer. Oh, he could have let it drop. He could have let it drop, I think. But it's easy to say that from up here. Shearing him. Beckham. Oh, by Sahad Adze. Oh, yeah. Beckham. Ince again forward. It's been a feature of the opening. He's got forward a lot. Here he is. Found by Beckham. Oh, so much power, but not the direction from Teddy Sheringham. That was a good chance. Plenty of room for him to supply the cross. And just look at the neck muscles on this. But 
sadly not the accuracy. I think Teddy Sheridan got up a bit too early. It, it was a sort of hanging little cross as it came over. And uh, I mean, Paul Lynch had plenty of time to, to pick his man, and definitely they are vulnerable on crosses. Sheringham, Beckham, to dig it out a bit. Looks up, see who's around. So that's it. The the call. Shearer, one either side. Five will be recipients. Beckham, at the back coming in with Sheringham. Campbell, here's Rob Lee. Well, they've got people to their feet. So, Lee's got a lot of room. Didn't really realise that. Looks straight for the crossbar. Beckham fires it across. It's all over the place. It really is not international quality football at the moment. A bit of depth, though. By Ince. Here's Shearer. A lot of space, Sheridan! <laughs> well, that's changed the atmosphere. It was a good goal. And the Georgians might wonder about the amount of space they allowed England. Lasso played it down. Shearer surely couldn't believe the amount of time he had here. And Sheringham was always going to get to Australia. That was a superb goal, a good ball round. As you say, Shearer had a lot of space. Look at him, had the look. Sees Tony Sheridan. Sheridan has now got in front of Australia. He's got a yard or two on him. And that's a good header that goalkeeper nearly got his hand to it, but from that range he's not got much chance. Seventh goal for his country in total. And that'll make his half-time chat a bit easier. Abeladze. He worked hard to get an opening. Didn't really find the shot. And, uh, David Seaman, who kept adjusting his position, as Abeladze tried to twist and turn around Adams. In the end was aware, was able to watch it and let it go, aware that there was nothing or nobody coming in. Incidentally, is uh, one of the Georgian substitutes. I also have an elder brother who's not currently in the squad, but has been in the past. And that's it. And he's beautifully through, and it needed three to stop. Jamal Ali really deceived uh, Gary Neville. Then the look up, little drop of the shoulder, and he's inside uh, or outside Adams, and it needed Rob Lee to come across. Natural body movement from Jamal Ali. Have a lads it. Didn't get anything on that, he might have. Seaman saves the day. Opportunity that came to Gogricciani. Right. Seaman got legs in the way. Rob Lee, too strong, not a good header out though. Arrives at Beckham. Inside him is Ince. Beckham goes the wrong way around. Ince presented with the ball there. Well, uh, Graham Bassoni's weaker right foot, that is a poor back pass. Never anywhere near 
And in fact, if he could have just stayed on his feet, uh, certainly Gogliani could have done much better. Seaman did well, of course, though. Lee. Termination from Ketspire. Yeah. Ketspire not happy with Rob Lee's arm there. We'll have to have a chat about that when he joins them. Out by Kenny Dalgrish for the uh, Newcastle squad. Here's David Beckham to Sheringham. Nobody else up in support. One wonders why. Beckham! Good save! It set up nicely for the goalkeeper, but even so, Zoyidze did well. But England had just two players up then. Sheringham had pulled it back, hit on the full, hit down on the ground, and it came up so the goalkeeper could get his hand on it and turn it off. Ball behind. And it's blocked twice. Ince can't believe it from a sitting position, neither good Adams. Not sure Tony Adams actually blocked the shot himself from Paul Ince as he slid in. Can't quite believe what happened there. It's a good save that led to the uh, shoe muzzle that followed. This is the moment when the ball certainly bounced kindly for Georgia and not Wingdon. Ince with the prod actually hit Jamarali. The best of cooperation between central defender and uh, wide defender. Here's the so taking advantage. Just wouldn't come back enough for him. Pulled something then, I don't know. And there is to be a substitution. He was late out of the dressing room, which suggested that he had a bit of a problem at half-time. Uh, pity for the Manchester City player on his uh, debut at Wembley. He's not going to see out time. Uh, one of the supporters of Manchester Beckham. Back by one, and the defender can himself when he shouldn't really, and uh, corner is conceded. Gregoriani, who uh, just affected it over the goal line. Robbie Fowler down on the touchline. Beckham into Lasso. So it's a doesn't come for it. It's another corner. Don't uh, come around in you too much about that. And the majority in the crowd of 71,208 winning the second goal. Rather more comfortable watch as a result. Sheringham let it go. Ince almost came off. Miss kick by Shahadatza. Oh. Shearer's shot. And the attempt on the far side to get in on the ball just didn't make the touch. Teddy. David Beckham places. Two up on the 18 yard line. So Campbell making it three. And Adams makes it four. Beckham, oh, good speed, and the goalkeeper was rooted to the ground, he was a spectator. They'd probably say this was good judgment, I mean, he was completely beaten, wasn't it? Round the wall, and, well, didn't move a muscle, did he? And he scored for Russia against England and he causes great concern among England supporters at Wembley. This is the opportunity, made a bit of room for himself, really struck it well and no question that David Seaman was nowhere near it. First time the crowd showing obvious frustration as England go back just to keep possession. I 
Marseille in the build-up to the European Championship. We kept watching friendly matches here, which uh, the crowds didn't enjoy and they didn't seem to matter very much. These are the matches that matter, but what matters only is winning. How has become irrelevant in top world football. Lee, that's good play. The entertainment value has gone out. That's a back pass, so that's going to be a free kick opportunity for England right at the end. Rob Lee did excellent. He's had a good game. He's helped Batty and in uh, midfield with the tackles. Comes inside, of course, on his favoured right foot. I thought it was going to be a goal, quite frankly. And then you see the mech miss up here. Touches it back. Thank you very much. We'll have a free kick. Well, the wall's got to be back on the goal line. Now, uh, to blast. What to be cunning. It's a blast, I think. It's to be a blaster, then surely it's to be Shearer. You certainly wouldn't want to be in the wall anyway. Oh, the guy who ducked last time won't be able to duck this time. And... Oh. Yellow card to Shalia. Broke too soon. Over the top. Shira! Yes! Smiles, and this was beautifully worked. Very simple, very effective. Little tap back and bash over the top of the wall. Nobody to get decapitated, and the final whistle has gone immediately afterwards. England, another 2 0 victory, as in Tbilisi in November. For much of the match, it has to be said, no great spectacle. But the main requirement is to qualify for the World Cup in France next summer. And England, with the old firm, combining again, Sheringham and Shearer are three points further on the way to that end. Final score for Glenn Hoddle's team. A 2-0 victory. Alan, a few England fans would have been nervous second half progressed, can you see their point? I can see their point, I think there was a few England players nervous to be honest. Um, we, should, we perhaps should have had more than one before we went in at half time, but we never. We got a, a decent goal two or three minutes before the break and that should have settled us down. I thought in the first half we were well in control, um, but the second half wasn't so good.